you can hear me. Hey everybody, we'll be starting in just a couple of minutes, just getting a couple of last minute things going on today. I hope you're excited about it. I'm excited about this stream. We're going to have some cool stuff going on. Um, we're going to be learning redstone. So if you don't know anything about redstone, this will be a good start.
My mic is on. Your mic. I think mine's on. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Makers of Minecraft, where we take people who have done amazing things and we play an amazing game with them. And today, Barb and I are playing with Mr. Carell Science, not Steve, even though I'm going to call him that many times. It's Chris Carell. <laughs> no. Hi, everybody. Chris, you have chosen an amazing skin. I got to say, I love the Bowser skin. Right, thank you. Uh that shell, that's a great shell there. A little twirl for you. On the back. Pretty cool. <laughs> it worked, worked a runway. <clears throat> now, we are actually <laughs> not in our usual sort of world. We're not doing a survival game today. Uh, Chris asked me specifically. Okay, so Chris, tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, uh, I am a middle school teacher. I teach robotics in my school. Um, it's, it's a pretty new program that, uh, it's only been going for a couple of years. And last year was my very first year ever teaching anything to do with robotics. Um, but I, I'm in a unique situation in the fact that I have lots of resources, but I don't know exactly how I'm going to run this class. I have lots and lots of, um, how do I put it? I've got lots of ideas, but I don't have the technical knowledge to be able to put them into practice. And so I'm learning along with the kids how to use the robots and how to program things. Uh, and so I, right now I have a unique job in the fact that I get to go to work every day and just play all day long. That that pretty much sounds like what Barb and I do, do all day. Not, right. not together, but Barb, pretty much her job is to play all day and so is mine. <laughs> it's hard work playing. Now, when I mentioned Minecraft, you said that you knew somebody who had done a cool project. So what was that project? Well, uh, so I have a friend who he actually, he taught second grade and he did this really cool project where he was teaching the students math facts and he set up a, I don't know if you call it an obstacle course, but it was like a dungeon. And as he would, as the students would go through this dungeon, they would have to stop and answer questions. And so while they were answering questions, they had to pull the lever. Is this the right answer or is this the right answer? And if they got the correct answer, they were able to move on. A door would open up and they'd move on to the next oh. uh, to, to the next thing. Whereas if they got the wrong answer, they would fall down a trap door <laughs> and they would have to start over, essentially. All right. And I thought it was really cool, interesting idea to use something like Minecraft to uh, engage students in, you know, actually checking their knowledge of the subject. So I think we can yeah. totally make this happen. Now, we are currently in creative mode. Creative mode is different than survival. Survival is like the game of Minecraft, and we're not playing the game of Minecraft. We are the map makers now. So let's let's give you some basics. Let's talk about what we can how we can do this. Let's talk a little bit about redstone and then let's get let's see if we can make let's see if we can recreate this this little problem that we got. So to start with uh, uh, Chris, it seems that you're pretty clear on forward, backward, left, right, and jump. You can also hold down shift to crouch and move slowly. okay. And Bowser looks hilarious when he crouches. Now. <laughs> If you press E, it really does. if you press E, you will open up your inventory, and you'll notice that in creative inventory, you have available to you every single possible block that Minecraft Ooh. has. And just just go through those tabs a little bit and check out what you got. There are tabs on the top. There are tabs on the bottom. Um, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> Fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Maybe a little bit. Nice work. <laughs> <laughs> you are a troll, Joe. Well, yeah, only when we're in creative mode. Okay, so <laughs> Chris, go ahead and find a block. I don't care what kind of block you find. Go ahead and just find any kind of block. Click it and drag it into the bar across the bottom. That is your active bar. And then hit E to pop out. And you'll see that that block is now in your bar. 
Now, if you move your mouse wheel up and down, you will move across the bar. You can also access those bars with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I see. Okay. Now, right mouse click on the ground. Okay. You have just placed your first block. You can place blocks oh on top of blocks. You can place blocks sideways. You can make a wall. <laughs> Barb, I love it. Can you see what I'm doing? I can. I do not know if uh, Steve here can, but... Uh... <laughs> I'm just like going to call you all kinds of random wrong names. Oh, that's good. Call me Kevin. <laughs> like now, Kevin also in James, creative mode, to that. enable there you go. to place things better, you can double tap to fly, and that's useful. Now, I have we we have here a flat world. There's nothing going on in this world, but I have created this. I figure I figure if we're doing a school, a brick building is perfect for it, right? Right. Okay, so let's let's start by building. I don't know, just a simple house. Play with a couple of different blocks and make just a, a simple. Barb, why don't you show us your your simple castle while uh while let's all just work oh, on boy. a different kind of house. Let's see if I can remember my simple castle. That was a while ago. Well, then I'll make a simple but, castle based on your design. Well, I, was... I can make a simple castle. No, Ooh, I'm stealing it now. You, yeah, you're... You missed okay, the opportunity. Fine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, I'm going to build a wood house because I'm going to burn this sucker down when we're done. Ooh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, I just have to remember how mine went and try not to improve on it. Oh, definitely improve on it. Come on. Uh, uh, yeah, but I don't remember what it was. Now, Minecraft also has available to it door. And and honestly, Chris, I really do recommend that you spend some time playing survival a little bit and getting an idea of the game of Minecraft. Um, is it is it like a, an actual like storyline game? Uh, not a storyline. It's, it's an open ended. Game. Yeah, it's what we call an open ended sandbox game because there's no story per se but there is a lot of atmosphere there's a lot of um i don't know there's there's a lot going on and and you will die the first night because <laughs> you don't know yeah. to make a bed you know well, but i mean does not making a bed automatically mean you're going to die pretty much well, I mean, uh, it, it, society that maybe. Here's uh, hold on. yeah. Not necessarily. <laughs> if you if you don't make a bed, you might survive, but you're gonna have to build yourself a quick shelter, hide in a hole, and cower there until the scary noises outside go away. I mean, that's just now one of the most useful things. If uh, uh, Chris, if you hit the E button and go up to the upper right hand tab that looks like a compass you can search for things. So if you know what you're looking for, like I'm going I'm going to pull up a hay bale, I can type H A Y and find the hay bale. So that's yeah. one way to find stuff. I see. I am so not accustomed to building in creative mode. Oh, honestly. the other thing is if you guys middle mouse click, uh that one will quickly select whatever block you're pointing at. Uh, and if it's not in your hot bar, the, uh... it will put it in your hot bar. Oh, so like if I wanted to use a brick, then I could look at the brick, middle click, and it automatically equips brick. Ah. Isn't that cool? Yep. It's very, very handy. Now, the other thing is uh, you're going to need some light sources because it's getting dark. So you might want to figure out a way to... Um, you know, light up your house. Let's see. How did I do that? Such a such a delightful sound of placing blocks. 
So common light sources are torches, lanterns. Um, there are sea lanterns, which are very cool. I don't want that torch. Listen, if I'm going to be Bowser, then I'm not going to use lanterns. I'm going to use lava. But, hey, go for it. So my my whole house is going to be made with a lava floor. Nice. <laughs> I've, I've be got ready the... for that wood to go up in flames. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm learning still. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. And, and let's face it, Barb, how fun is it the first time that you have a house go up in flames? I mean, honestly. Well, it kind of depends whether you were intending for it to go up in flames there, Joe. Because um, if you weren't, yeah, you might not be overly pleased. Well, I can say, honestly, I wasn't planning on it going up in flames, but I wasn't thinking about it. <laughs> So, I can see your house now. It, Holy smokes, let's get over here. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. So, well gonna done. going to have to restart nice. that bad boy. <laughs> I, I was actually going to do this. I was setting my house up. Look, I was making it out of wood and, and out of hay bales, and I was going to do something like that too, and I was going to catch it on fire, and, but you beat me to it, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Barb's trying to put it out. I was, I was gonna just let it burn, start over. <laughs> do it. I, I can't really do it anymore. I tried to, but I can't <laughs> undo. Here, wait, 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 come here. Okay, there's that. Well, you can also punch the fire, and it will put it there out. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. That's yes. The, I think that's the the uh, the acceptable you know way of. Doing it. Don't they train fire departments now? Just punch the fire. Just punch. Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you've you've heard the old joke about why do why do elephants have flat feet, right? Do you Not do you know this one? one? Hmm? To stomp out fires. Oh wait, no, no, no. I did, I told the joke wrong. Doggone it. Let me start again. <laughs> do you know why oh, elephants you... have? Do you know why elephants have flat feet? That That's was the joke. Exactly you told. what you just said. That's <laughs> literally yeah. exactly what you said. Word for word. Okay, sorry. No, ducks. Do you know why ducks Different have emphasis. flat feet? Okay, it's ducks. Do you know why ducks have flat Man, I'm such a moron. Because of something about elephants, presumably. Okay, no, ducks have flat feet to put out forest fires. Okay. And elephants okay. have flat Perfect. feet to put out flaming ducks. That's the joke. Okay. I messed Got up. It. Hey, you know. You know, Joe, you know where you need to write all these jokes down so you don't forget them? All these dad jokes? Uh, yes. In the database. I, I heard you make that joke last week. I deserve that. I deserve that. You gotta I keep missed the, the joke. Dad. You got to keep them oh, in the dad of a the dad data base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've yeah. got to uh, tell my dad that one. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is a punster. I have many relationships, uh, friendships that, that uh, hinge on me having experienced uh, puns growing up. Because otherwise, there is no way that friendship would have survived. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, oh isn't, this, isn't this lovely? All right, so since since Chris already burned his house down, that is so lovely. Where is I just love that. Um, I decided to make my house. Here, guys, come check out my house. Oh, look at Barb's little castle here. Although, I'm disappointed oh, you didn't use stone here brick. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, you got to put the huh? fences. I love your use of fences. That is so good. This is exactly what I, well, it's not exactly what I did before, but I did Lovely use. Lovely little cabin you got going on here. Yeah, so this is my yeah. little cabin. Little but I love, the, I love the little fireplace I had in, uh, have in here. It just makes it real cozy looking. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And those fires don't burn the house down, so. Well, what, if, they, you, what if you dropped a block of wood right on the top of the floor? No, no, wouldn't do it still. Although, let me let me really quickly. Might hurt you. No, it would hurt you. Yeah, it would hurt me. 
if we were in survival. There we go. And now check this out from the outside. The smoke is rising it up is out of the that. house. Oh, I love it. Isn't that cool? Okay, so we, we've Great. got the basics, guys. We've we've had the opportunity, guys and gals, we've had the opportunity to learn some basics. Now, Chris, yes. um, it is time to teach you about a magic mineral found in Minecraft called redstone. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. So go ahead. Redstone. Let's 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 come on over here. And I want you to search your oh. inventory, and I want you to find a couple of things. It, it, you can either search or you can pull up the redstone here, but you need to find redstone, redstone torch, and, uh, oh, we need a door of any kind. It doesn't really matter what kind. Let's do a st iron door, though. Iron doors have the unique property that they can't be um, opened except by redstone. Okay, so have you got have you got your redstone? Have you got your redstone torch? I, and have you I got a do. Uh, let's see, redstone, and I need redstone torch, you said? Yep. Oh, there's so much redstone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if you, if you use the tab at the top that has that little redstone icon, yeah, it, those are only things that oh, react yes. to or use redstone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need redstone, redstone torch, and what else? A door of some sort, also in that redstone um, menu there. Warped door. Yes, okay. warped doors are new. Boy, that's really wacky looking. I know. This is this is the this is the thing. I I on on the server that um, we use, we have a spigot so we are not yet up to 16 so this stuff's all new to me yeah it's way cool all right and very excited so take the redstone dust and just make a line of it across the ground redstone dust okay that was not on your list Oh, I there thought I go. said redstone dust, but okay, redstone dust. You may have, but I didn't hear it. Oh, you, you got the redstone block, which is fine. So redstone uh, dust is basically Minecraft's wire, okay? Okay. Redstone dust. Okay, I'm making a line, is what you're saying. Yep, make a line. <laughs> Wrong button, right mouse click. Wrong button. Okay, I'm with you. No worries. Now, take your redstone torch and place it on the end of your redstone here. Actually, no, 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 wait. Uh, let's put the door on the end here. So just at the end of it, drop a door. Uh, do we need to put a little bit more redstone to reach the door? Nope. Okay, perfect. Now let's come to the other side here and let's drop a redstone torch. Now here's the problem. Redstone is DC power, okay? It runs okay. out of juice if it goes too far. And you can see here, like when it got to this point, it just didn't have any more juice in it. So let's I let's see. kill the redstone. Let's put the door closer. And let's pick up the redstone torch and put the redstone torch back down. Okay. So if we if we pick up if we pick it up, drop it, pick it up, drop it, pick it up, drop it. Oh, I we see. Can, yeah. Is my door too far away? Nope, it's working just you fine. Can, uh, you can experiment with it and figure out exactly how far it can go. Yes. Well, I need to. So it is a bit crash. far away for you. Yeah. Do you see? No, he seems to be making it work. Oh, there you got it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I couldn't. 
I couldn't see it from my perspective because my line was too long. So I had to crouch down and do this weird Bowser turtle crap. <laughs> now, this, <laughs> now, using a redstone torch is a <laughs> pain is in the neck way of doing it. So let's let's pop up the redstone torch. Let's drop down uh, any any. Let's drop down some brick. And on that, I want you to go into your inventory, and I want you to find uh, a lever. Which does exist in that redstone. Uh... Mm -hmm. You found click, it. Click on the, click, if you click on the, yeah. Got you can it. do that, but if you go there, you can see it right there. Oh, yes, okay. I, I can see it, but I would have had to go through and read each one. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. So drop down a, a stone brick right there. A stone brick? Like, whoops. Like so? Any old brick. You broke my door. And go ahead and flip the lever. So I place the lever on top of on top of, on the side, behind. Try it in different places and see what happens. How do I flick it? Right mouse click. Ah, I see. Now move the lever to the side here. Hey, kids, you're wasting the electricity. Turn the lights on or off. <laughs> now, if you've played with the lever a little bit, pop it off and try a button. A button. And there are lots of different kinds of buttons. They can be made out of wood. They can be made out of stone. Let's go with Acacia. Why not? Whoops. <laughs> hey, Steve, come on over here and try this out. Steve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bet I can guess what this will do. <laughs> oh, you, you, you're not standing quite right on it. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Sorry, I, I ruined the joke. You got to stand right there. I, I mean, I'm trying. Well, see. Well, uh, the joke would need to be um, more uh, accurately made possible by. Well, this is this is what we are eventually going to do. We're going to wire something up now. I want to show you one other one. Uh, this right here is a pressure plate. A pressure plate also sends redstone, but let's let's put the pressure plate right next to the door like a welcome mat, and then just walk up to that door. Step on the pressure plate. Ta-da! Door open. Now go through it. Oh. And it's a it's a momentary switch, so you can get in but not out. You can create traps this way. I see. Unless I can fly. Well, yes, you don't have a problem with that, but I just wanted to show you a couple of different ways that we can activate things with redstone. And you saw with Barb that we can activate um, trap doors. Uh, right. let's, also, let's also talk about, uh, you know, uh, something else that we could potentially activate with redstone. Um, why don't you go ahead and push that button there? Yep. Oh. <laughs> this is oh middle uh, yes yes this is uh, good fun absolutely okay so i think we i think you now know everything that you need to know so so what do we want to do here oh oh you need one more thing uh, Chris, go ahead into your inventory and find a sign, and you may have to search for this one, sign. 
And again, there are lots of different kinds of signs. And there are lots of cool things you can do with signs. All right. Signs can be placed one of two ways. You can either place them on the ground and they pop up like that, and then you can type any sort of message into them. Or they can be placed on a wall. Like that. Yes. Great. It's rather now, difficult to read. Well, but watch this, Barb. I don't know if you knew this. Go into your inventory. Mm. Look for D-Y-E mm. die. Pull up some white die mm -hmm. and right mouse click on that. Oh, you can change the... Oops. Yes, you can You can choose a color that works. You totally well. change the oops. All right, Chris. So this is our goal. We want to set up a door with a button on either side that if they get the right button, it opens up the door. But if they get the wrong button, it, I don't know, blows them up, drops them into lava. We probably want to do something non-destructive. So we want to drop them into lava, right? We'd want to do something oh, non-destructive so they want to drop them into lava. Yes, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so. uh, speaking of which, you want to come over here and try that uh, trap door again? Try trap my little door. Thingy here. What trap door? I don't imagine. You gotta go there. right there. There wouldn't be anything dangerous here. No, it looks perfectly Not safe to me. I'll let you know. Dangerous at all. Do you want to try it? Absolutely. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Back up a little bit. Back up. <laughs> uh, see, there. Oh, no. There you go. <laughs> oh, no. I'm stuck in lava, which I can uh, survive. It's going to happen. Much more of a problem. <laughs> now minecraft is three-dimensional so you can weave your redstone up and down and hide it behind things and all sorts of cool stuff but let me show you a problem that we're going to have with it uh if i put a a button here okay or actually, you want it to do a lever. So let's do a lever here. And let's say that I have two levers, right? One here and one here. And I have signs here that say this is right and this is wrong, right? And right. maybe I'm maybe I'm smart enough to put, like, two trap doors down. Whoops. Got it. Okay. You know, so the kids have to get close enough to it. It doesn't matter which lever I switch, they both open the door. Because they're instantly close to the door. So, what does that mean? we got to move them away uh, from the door. Right. And then we have to carry the signal. One of the signals goes down to the trap door, and one of the signals goes to the door. So how are we going to do, do that? that? Well, check this out. Let's, uh, redstone here, redstone here, redstone to the door. Let's go flip the lever. Come around here and take a look at the redstone. I see. But it's interesting because because you wouldn't you wouldn't immediately recognize there's a connection between this redstone here and this lever on the other side of the wall. Correct. So what essentially happens in Minecraft is that you power the entire block, and that block then carries its signal into the redstone. But blocks do not carry their signal into other blocks. Otherwise, this entire structure would be lit up with power. So it's a it's a one block. Oh. Barb's doing some aesthetic changes, but here's well, the question. Well, I mean, it's easier to uh, to identify this then. Yeah. So now I mean, that that is the block that we're changing. Now we got to figure out how to get the redstone to these guys. 
Now, one thing we can do, oh, and I meant to show you this, but, but check this out. Uh, so let's say that we've got two signals, okay? And we've got two redstone signals, oh, not, not that. Actually, that's pretty interesting. Here, flip the switch, flip the lever. <laughs> Wrong lever! So come take a look at what happens to the to the. So power on, the redstone torch is on. Power off, the redstone torch is off. Okay, we can then carry that signal out here, right? And oh, so here's, right, right, right. Here's the question. Because this block right here, this block uh, that I am now standing in that has the torch. That whole block is being powered by that torch. Yes, exactly. So it connects over to this next one, even though there's a visual gap between them. And so if I put a block right. on here and another torch up here, notice the torch turns off when it's sitting on a powered block. If I unpower this, the torch turns on. So a torch on a block kind of becomes a negator. Do you see that? I see it. This is okay. I'm starting to understand this here. Yep. Now here's here's the challenge for you, Chris. Okay. I have these two inputs. I want to have a torch somewhere down the line. It doesn't matter where, but we'll say right here. And I want this torch to light up if both of these are on. No, actually, let's do the let's do an OR gate first. If either one of these are on, I want this torch to turn off. How would we do that? I'm going to stand back and let you do it. So if this one's okay, on, well. I want that torch to turn off. If this one's on, I want that torch to turn off. If they're both on, I want that torch to turn off. If they're both off... Okay, let's see if that does it. Not quite. You got, you got the right idea, but the power is not going into it. Okay. Yeah. So the power is not making a turn into the corner. So what we can do is like, like that. Oh, I see. Okay, I didn't realize that. I had yep. it done that way. No, I didn't. my redstone yeah, can, can be tricky. You can see how it's turning. Like you can see when it's when it's do if it's not turning into. There you go. See that. Okay, so you can kind of see where it's going. Power which one also means you can do this. Now, what happens if you turn both switches on? It's an OR gate, so as long as one of them's on, that torch is off. So, congratulations, so both... you made an OR gate. Now, your next challenge is to make an AND gate, so that both of them have to be on in order for that torch to turn off. And I mean, if we wanted it to be the torch turns on then we could do something as simple as, oops, as like this, you know. Hmm. Yes. But I still made another OR gate. You still made an OR gate. But you got the right idea. Uh, let's see. So it's going to involve negators. Eesh. It's going to involve doing right. something right. with that. Okay. All right. I mean, sure, I can... Let's, let's see. What if I go this way? Okay, I'm going to stop what I'm doing and let you work on it. <laughs> well, that's something. that 
not what I wanted it to do. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, oh, I jumped in the lava. Hey. <laughs> no, it's, it's my light source. So it is very, very <laughs> tricky, but I will also say this. Um, it's also a solved problem, okay? You can go online. You can look up how to do all these fancy gates. People have proven that this redstone thing is is Turing complete. Um, so if you're, if you're stumped, uh, I, I don't know what you tell your students, but what I used to tell my students is go look it up. You know, somebody's already figured it out. Don't bang your head against it. Right. Um, that said. I used to think I was really good at puzzles. <laughs> you know, there was an old game I used to play called Robot Odyssey. It was on the uh, uh, Apple IIe. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> and, and Robot Odyssey... Um, like you needed to have an electrical engineer degree to to beat that game. It was insane. Oops. You're you're a big fan of that lava there. Well, I like the lava because it gives light, and I accidentally switched to the lava, and now I don't. You can take the lava off. off your hot. Barb, he's got a Bowser part. skin. Does he have a choice? Yeah, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. Okay. Back to what I was originally trying to do. This is akin to like a three-way switch. Yes. Like in a house. Yes, it is. Very much so. I have my sound down in my game, so I can only hear it in yours, mm. which is entertaining. I'm trying to figure out how to uh, make this door open without opening the trap doors right in front of it. It is turning out more tricky than I anticipated. Nope, oh, that opened up the trap door too. What about what about this? Oh, it didn't open up the door though. Hmm. Oh wait, I've got it. I've got it. I'm a dummy. Big dumb me. Yes? No? What? Mm -hmm. Still no? Hmm. Hmm. Well, hiding redstone can sometimes be a pain. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. 
right, let me, I'm going to look it up real fast. Minecraft and gate. Okay, let's see. Oh. Hold on for a second. Looking it up, looking it up. <clears throat> oh, they're doing it with comparators these days. Man, kids. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is not simple. Can you show us what you're looking at? Uh, I just did a search for Minecraft logic gates. Mm -hmm. And I have found them. And I do not like what I have found. Mm -hmm. Mostly, I do not like that it will not let me look at it full screen. <laughs> NAND is easy. Oh! Oh my goodness. I feel so dumb. I, I should have remembered this one. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see if it... Okay, no. First of all, we gotta... How do we get them to both go into one? Oh, like this. Don't know what you're doing. How you doing there, James? <laughs> James. <laughs> James now, huh? Mm -hmm. That's nice. We could That's go what with, they call uh... me. That's what they <laughs> call me in the hood. Uh... And by yeah, they, about, you mean about, almost Mike? nobody. <laughs> There's your and gate. Uh, the signals don't want to travel down. No, it does. Okay. No. I think it's still an or, isn't it? I don't know. Okay, if they're both off, flip. it's off. It's on. If one's on, it's on. It's on. It's on. Yep. This is just an OR gate. Doggone it. All right. I have to figure this out some other time. But here we go. I've I've, I've built our I've built our. Uh, um. So come come take a look at what I built over here. Okay, All right. We got, we got the right lever and we got the wrong lever. So go ahead and hit the right. Oh, there you go. Wrong lever. Here we go. We get out of there. Oh boy! Just jumping along. <laughs> <laughs> and I wait to get the right gate. Now notice that I've I've walled it off so they can't see anything. But if we get rid of the walls here, you can see what I've done here. Coming out of the right gate, it just goes straight into the thing. Coming out of the wrong gate, it actually goes down under the ground. And I'm using these oh. repeaters. Now, I should, I should teach you about repeaters. These are very useful. But I'm using the repeaters because the signal can go into both of them and then directionally come out, which will... Actually, I'm so, Oh, yeah, you have to go underneath to see what I did. Da -da 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 -da. Down here. 
If you want to see a repeater. If you want to see a repeater here, Geraldo. Geraldo. Which are directional. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having well, I, <laughs> I have an idea here. Okay. Could we simply remove one of those red porches? You are determined to figure this out, aren't you? I am. I am. See, the problem is we have two power sources. So yes. If we just get rid of one of the power sources, but we can we still use the switch as an interrupter to the flow, even with only one power source? Try it. I think so. So now if I disconnect this so that it doesn't do anything. And then we go from here Here, that on now. Oh, geez, I killed the switch again. Here. Okay, so if we flip that off, is it on or off? It's off. Yeah, that should be turning it on. Wait. No, it's a negator, so it's turning it off. If you want it to turn it on, all we'd have to do is uh, here, let's put this up here. So this switch, I mean, it changes the color, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Well, one of these days I will figure this out. Yeah, and, and like I said, look it up. But In an electrical circuit, that would work. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris, come check That's this out. Mm -mm. So redstone drops off after about 16 blocks. So you come over here, you notice it's not lit up. Okay. We pop this out, we put a repeater in here, and it carries it for another 16 blocks. But repeaters have an additional purpose. You can click the right mouse click them to change how long the signal takes to delay to get through them. And watch this. So what have I just you created made it rain. here? Well, I'll get the rain, get rid of the rain. But check okay. out what I just created here. We can. You we made can, like little blinky LEDs. Exactly. We can take a signal off of here. And now, how have, does this? How does this signal carry over this far? Is it just because it's close enough to the to the desk that it reaches, or? How does it carry? How far? It's 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 just going around well, here, and then it's going this way. And it's going around here, and it's going this way. These are directional. These are like diodes, but we can change the time of them. So I pointed these ones that direction, and I pointed these ones that direction. If I switch the direction on it, put the repeater in the other direction. Oh, I see. Here's the... I see. The signal don't go through. Is there directional, like Just, LEDs? Like yeah, like diodes, yeah. Now, here's the problem. I've now overloaded the signal, so I need to turn it off. But, and now I can take this and hopefully, there we go. I'm making a blinking LED. And there are other things that we can activate with this. Hold on for a second. Um, How do you do this? Trying to recall if you need to have this over here. Nope, on the block. 
There we go. Now I can put a lever on here. Oh, no, I overloaded circuit there. Doggone it. So I did that wrong. Maybe I'll just put the lever on here. Here, come over here and push the button. Mm. Right mouse click on the button over here. Do I? Ah, you overloaded it. <laughs> and hold on for a second, let me... So we're getting shot with eggs. <laughs> hey, I, I, I'm a teacher, so you know I've, I've grown quite used to that. Yeah, exactly. You're completely immune. <laughs> Halloween, Halloween around my house is interesting. <laughs> so this is just a little timing circuit. It just enables you to. In fact, you know we could fix this even better by putting a zero length diode on there. Um. Let me do it like this. There we go. Hmm. Barb, do you remember how to make fireworks? These aren't explodey. Oh. How do I make explodey fireworks? Huh. Uh, yeah. No, those are just rockets. Yeah, those are just rockets. Um, let's see. I can recall. Is it not in here? I would be wrong with Well, I think it's got the stuff for making it. Oh, you've got to build them. It's yeah. been a minute since I made them. It's been since I made a... Uh, you do things, I'll find the fireworks. Find us some fireworks. It's that plus... It is getting really annoying. There we go. Okay, we'll come back to that in just a second. <laughs> What's the what's the workbench called? We need gunpowder and dye. Crafting bench. And paper. Oh no! I can't hear you guys again. What happened, Barb? Hmm, that's curious. Oh. It said you left the game. Hmm. Alright, hold on for a second. Let me grab some gunpowder. I thought gunpowder was... Er, Rockets with just gunpowder and paper. It is. I'm going to have to search it up.
I mean, this is pretty cool, but there are other ways that you can craft rockets and make some cool rockets. But rockets are something that you create. They're not yeah, like you, have, you have to some craft of these blocks, them. Some of these blocks seem like they've already been prefabbed. Is there... Most so how do you been. create your own custom blocks? Well, for the most part, you can't. Um, but in the game of Minecraft, you start out with nothing. And like, if you want to build a workbench like this, we have to... Um, have to reinitiate Barb. Uh, you have to then chop, punch down wood with your hand, and rip the wood apart like uh, Steve uh, Rogers, and then recraft it into a bench like this. It's it's a very crafty game. But once you have this, you can right mouse click on it and you can craft things together. But I just don't remember how to make. That's what uh, I'm finding. Here, hang on. Firework. Is a fire charge a part of that? We need. <clears throat> There's a firework star. I've got those. And I've got a creeper yeah. head just for fun. And I've got so some green dye. Star. Gunpowder, dye, um, <clears throat> and then add, yes, that's it. Okay. Gunpowder. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Ugh. Why is... All right. You know what, guys? I think that... So... Why is this being so crazy? Chris, have we managed to answer your question of... A little bit about Minecraft and stuff like that and get you started on it? I believe so. Barb, let's jump over to the other server. So let's all leave this server and let's all go to the, the uh, makers of Minecraft server um, so go ahead and hit escape disconnect out of okay. here and go to the makers of minecraft server okay i finally got back in y'all have left to the other one okay. the greenhouse Oh, it's better than that. Let's see, is this like uh, the Emerald City? Yes, indeed. Barb, you should hit F five. I should. Mm -hmm. Twice. Yep. Who should? Barb, take a look at Barb. Oh, that's right. I forgot I had your head on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I so, Chris, this head. let's yeah. follow the yellow brick road. We did that with the, yeah. Over the rainbow here, or under the rainbow, more accurately. Down the yellow brick road. Down the yellow brick road. So, this area oh, here, I'm setting up as a kind of virtual maker fair. Right. And people like you who have been on my show here, and actually anybody, I'm going to open this up. I want everybody to build in here. We'll get basically one of these squares. And mind you, you can okay. go as high or as low as you want. I mean, look at this replica of the Saturn rocket. This thing's incredible. Now, I'm, I'm still exploring options. Barb, take a look at this excellent mm. map that Scott made for us. I did see that. And he wants me to build a uh, railroad line that goes up to this northern, northwestern mm. island around here and around. And he wants one that goes mm -hmm. down and around and stuff. And I am 100% yeah. for that. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, but the other thing is with command blocks, you can just TP to any of those places and I'm going to I'm going to put a command yeah, but block on Yeah, that's less here. fun. You got to make a make a monorail. 
That's true. Monorail would be cool. But, Chris, I am going to say this gray square over here, this gray chunk, is, is your booth. Use creative mode. Come back here anytime you want and uh, make something that represents you and what you do. Maybe try to reproduce that right-wrong answer thing that we did um, just a second ago. I, I think I might do that just as my front door. If somebody wants to come in, they got to answer question first. There you go. But, you know, stay within, stay within this spot here. Um, but it's yours. This is your, and it, now I've got a, I've got a book up front here as you come in that kind of has some pointers and tips and stuff like that. So, and I'll try to keep this up to date. Um, if you want to read that. Okay. But all right, you're off, man. All hey, right. Barb. Wow. Barb, yes. have you ridden my ride? You've got a ride? Come here. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> oh, wait, one second. I want to put down things. I want, I need a book. Right. Okay. I need a, uh, I need hold a on. Yes. Get, um, are you hey, 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 hey. Some of these kids aren't down for bed. Uh, Barb, are you in, are you in creative mode properly? Uh, I am. Okay, good. Then we don't need this anymore. Yeah, I'm dropping things here. Okay. Blurt. Blurt. So, Barb, my ride is over here. Mm -hmm. Okie doke. And hopefully I've got signage explaining it and stuff. But. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Prince of Law. Oh, that's cool. Ouch. Oh, no, it just moves you. Cool. And Chibi Mars. Please step forward. Check out online. <laughs> nice, nice branding, Joe. Well, this—that's what this is. This is this is Maker Fair. So you know, get your branding out there. Advertise <laughs> what it is that you do. And there's uh, Barb again. Very cool. I wanted that's to neat. show off I like how that. I wanted to show off how you could use the space underneath. You know. Mm -hmm. I basically I'm trying to give people ideas of what they can do with their space and you know if somebody says hey a chunk is too small I need two chunks I need four chunks I'm I'm okay with giving you know somebody more chunks um, the chunks is just a nice way to br break it up but if you say hey can I have this chunk over here or, hey can we move the Saturn 5 up and give me four chunks I can do this I, I, I can do this <coughs> But shift things. So Barb, can you spend some I time working on your else. spot this week? <laughs> uh well that depends. It's it's back in back in the real world. Yes. It's a little busy right now. It certainly so is unquestionably. Going on. As it is, I'm I'm I've got myself a rainbow. I'm not sure what exactly to do. Well, oh, you know what we need? We need, uh, you know I'm what I might do? I head. might go someplace. I see that. What I might do is go find a spot and make a custom map place. Mm, so that you can so that you can make a map on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thinking off in the desert here someplace. Yeah, off of weight. Well, I would say go somewhere off of this map. Mm, all the way off. Okay. Just a little bit past it, if you can. Um, I can do that. We need uh, either a track or... Have you thought about doing um, uh, tunnels through the nether? Uh, yes, I have. I have even opened up the first tunnel to the nether. Um, still playing with these options. But I do like the idea of a monorail track, especially... If, you know, it's not a far distance to that little island over here and just a little loop around here. It'll take a minute to go through there. So I don't think that we need to use the nether for that. But if you wanted to, like, recreate Bay Area Maker Fair in a part of the in a part of the desert over here and we could have the track go down to that, I think that'd be cool. Did I just kill that thing? I think I killed that thing. Oops. What did you do? Broke it. 
I will make a new one. Because okay, guys. It was not... Well, this is this is I think where the uh, stream is going to end. They've gotten to see um, us learn some redstone, and we didn't do too bad. They've gotten to see us, um, you know, building some stuff together. Uh oh, what did you do? <laughs> Yeah, put her Surely back. there's going to be someone who's going to who's going to comment something. And, oh, that that guy, he's a robotics teacher. He can't figure out redstone. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. You will figure out redstone. This was your first exposure to it. Who who gets something right the first time that they that they see it? You know what I'm saying? Right. But. Uh, I want to thank everybody who's been watching. I apologize. I haven't been looking at the comments. So let's look at the comments right now. Medic Vince is in. Good evening, Vince. Ha Scott's in. Hey, Scott. How you doing, buddy? Brian was in earlier. I hope he's come back, and I hope he got to hear your where do you put the dad jokes joke. <laughs> uh, that was a joke for him, honestly. Yes, indeed. Um... But there we go, guys. We're going to keep working on this. And if you want to see more of it, one of us is going to be streaming in the Discord. So come join on the Discord. The link is in the description. Um, and yeah. And if you guys know anybody else who might want to take part in this online Maker Fair, I'm going to be opening it up for submissions here. That, that Emerald City. I'm sorry. To, I got to toot my own horn. That looks pretty cool. It is pretty cool. <laughs> you are um, the wizard. <laughs> great and powerful. The same. Yeah. But, yeah. We're going to end the stream here. Thanks, everybody, for watching. It's been great. It is now late. So, good night, everybody. Yeah, thank, thanks for having me, by the way. Oh, I appreciate it. Well, and thanks mm -hmm. for helping me build this Maker Fair. So I look forward to an official announcement on this thing. There we go. Yeah, Barb, this will be fun. Say goodnight, Barb.